Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again for another video on ACS 380 drives. My name is Andrew Henizak with AAP Automation. Today we're going to focus on basic troubleshooting. So we're going to go through how to back up and restore your parameters. We're going to check out the fault log and we're going to see how we can filter out other parameters to make it easier to find what we're looking for. And then we're going to go down to saving a parameter file so you can export it. That'll help me especially for when you're out in the field and something goes wrong. And then finally, how to lock out your keypad to prevent other people from coming in and changing parameters. So let's get started. All right, let's get started with our backup and restore. We have Drive Composer up. We can see that our ACS380 is connected. We're gonna go to our drop down menu and we're gonna go down to backup and restore. So this can also be done on the control pad itself. It can hold up to two backups on there. So without having to hook up a computer, you can just save the file onto the keypad and then you can also re-download it if something else goes wrong or restore. So we're going to do it here in Drive Composer. It's as simple as going up to the backup here. You're going to pick where you want to file this away. And we'll call this a demo backup. Save. And we'll go through and save all the parameters and settings. So now that we've successfully downloaded a backup parameter file, we're going to show you how to restore. So now we have a saved parameter file that we want to upload to a drive. We're going to click on restore, select the parameter file that we want to use and hit open. You'll get a dialog box and that will eventually show you that it is successfully uploaded to the drive. This is also really helpful when you have several drives in a system that are all going to use the same parameters. You can program one and then just restore that parameter file to every drive that you need. Reloads, checks the parameters, and restore report succeeded. One important thing to point out is that parameter file that we've saved and restored can also be sent over email. And if you're ever calling in for some troubleshooting, that'll probably be one of the first things I ask for. So that way I get a snapshot of what your drive is doing, what parameters you have set in there, and then we can make a game plan for moving forward on how to solve your situation. Now let's take a look at our fault log. If we drop over to the drop down menu, we're going to look at event logger. It'll go into the drive and pull out all of the faults, warnings, and information that has happened on the drive. If we look recently, we'll see that there is a control panel loss. So I basically just unplugged the control panel while it was running and then plugged it back in. Um, you'll see that it gives you the icon of a fault. It tells you the code, a description of it. And then over here it gives you a breakdown of what the parameters were when that fault occurred. So parameter 5.81 is the output frequency at the time of the fault. Parameter 5.82 is the DC voltage when that occurred. So it gives you a little snapshot of what the drive was doing when the fault occurred. So one quick trick after you were looking at your event log, maybe you wanted to find a parameter to correct the error. Um, it can be a lot easier if you don't know the exact number to just type in to the filter what you're looking for. So say we were looking for a start stop command that was off. By typing in start into the filter, we can already eliminate all the parameters that really don't have anything to do with start. So it really highlights all the parameters that we would need to change if we wanted to, and we can go right in and change them on the fly here, and then go back to just remove the filter, and you'll see all your parameters again. The last thing we want to run through is how to lock out your keypad. So once everything's up and running and it's operating the way you want it to, we don't want anyone else coming in and potentially changing those parameters. So to do that, we're going to go down to 96.2 passcode and default for all ABB drives is 358. Hit enter, the parameters will reload and then we won't be able to edit anything. This will be the same on Drive Composer as well as the keypad by itself. You won't be able to actually change any of the numbers in here. The drop down menu won't even come up. So to be able to edit, you have to go back to the lock and unlock it the same way we did before. So we go back to 96, we type in our 358, hit enter, parameters reload. And now we can go back to normal editing of parameters. 
So that basically wraps up troubleshooting. We appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at aapautomation.com. Thanks.